Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee. We're pleased to have with us to kick off the weekend, Jolene Rogers, uh, Iowa Lakes Executive Director of Community and Business Relations. They're, of course, our partner in education, Iowa Lakes Community College. Jolene, thank you for joining me here today. Well, thanks for the opportunity to visit, Jeff. I appreciate it. Well, you do such great work there at Iowa Lakes Community College. It means so much uh, to us here in Northwest, and if you count Algona in the North Central Iowa. But uh, Iowa Lakes Community College recently proposed to enroll 100 people in 100 days. Tell me what brought this about and what the purpose of this initiative is, Jolene. Sure. Well, um, with the CARES Act, the federal funds coming through to the state to be distributed, the grant opportunity came up to really focus on employer innovation. How can we help our employers get back, recover a little bit? We had people furloughed, we had people laid off, you know, but we had people that worked remotely then got moved, you know, all really pretty unexpectedly. So how can we help support the businesses and those people that have been affected and, and whether it's employment related or, or not, everyone has been affected um, by the pandemic. Um, we just haven't done business as usual. It's yeah. been, everything's been adjusted be- because of that. So we visited with some of our em- employers. We sent that announcement out to those folks and said, what could help um, your businesses? And so based on those results, they were really quick to respond back and we were able to visit with our faculty members um, to find out what they were would be available to help teach on top of their credit loads, um, what times they had available, and this beautiful list of classes emerged. And so we put our project together. We had a week to apply for the for the fund. So um, we really got a lot accomplished, and we couldn't do that if we didn't have those connections with our business folks. So those connections are so important. Um, so we kind of went with the highlights and developed the classes. Then we've sent them out to um, the businesses and our economic developers and community uh, city clerks and and everyone have been really good about getting that information pushed out to the people. So the people know about it as well. Um, Iowa Iowa Workforce Development, Kelly Bay, has helped survey her folks to see what they might be interested in, and we were fortunate enough to get to get funded. So yeah, now isn't that the beauty of a of a community college? Though you you see you're closely connected with the employers, with the with the people in the area, and you see a problem, and you thought, what can we do to help alleviate that that communication? I think that's the beauty of a community college in our local communities. Well, I, I appreciate that. That's, that's our goal anyway, to, yeah, to kind of absolutely. fill those gaps and, and help problem solve. So, so now with the, the grant secured, and I boy, kudos to you for getting it done in a, a week, you and your team there, Jolene. But so is there going to be any cost to the to a student? Just their expense to get to a, to the location, but okay. but no, the tuition is covered. All the equipment that they need to, to supplies, it's all right right there with the class. So okay, no now, cost. All righty, well, and that's great news as well for anybody. And areas of industry that are going to be focused on in this hundred days. We um, have several manufacturing classes that are available, and those um, also translate into some of the. Um, other industries such as agriculture and things with the automation there's some automation classes um, being offered as well so it's manufacturing in uh, agriculture and energy sectors is what we kind of did and we've got some overlapping um, skills essential skills that are available um, to really support any any business yeah and those are all very strong areas and needs uh, here in Northwest Iowa now who's going to be leading the instruction on these in, in these areas Jolene I am so proud of our faculty members because at this time, it's all our full-time faculty members that are going above and beyond to share um, their their lab space and to share their expertise. And so they'll be doing the teaching of the classes. We've got um, Emily Gachi and Joe Holtz, who's the lab assistant down there in the Emmitsburg campus, both teaching um, welding classes that will be coming up. Uh, we've got one in November with Joe. If there's additional interest, we'll get some more classes scheduled. Uh, once those fill, 
and it's close to being full. Um, Emily's going to teach an advanced stainless steel TIG welding and advanced aluminum TIG welding down there on the Emmitsburg campus. She's a master um, welding instructor, has been recognized for that, and we're also that welding um, certification center. So if you need your employees certified in a certain skill with um, the American Welding Society credential, um, she can get that accomplished for you because she is a certified inspector. Um, the industrial maintenance classes will be held over on the Spirit Lake campus um, in that industrial training room. Yeah. Um, the ones that are be held uh, maybe in June or sorry January and February will be at that at the Algona campus. We'll maybe have an opportunity for them as well. The programmable logics or the PLC labs um, will be done at the Esterville campus in that sustainable energy resources training facility. Uh, the drone classes, UAB um, commercial test prep, because you have to have a license if you're doing anything that generates income. You need to be uh, have that commercial license to operate that drone. Um, and then we have a drone applications class right after that. Um, Tim Bush, our aviation coordinator, is teaching both of those classes. And it will take them from getting ready to take the test. They can take the test over the weekend and then um, come back and learn that application piece. So um, lots of things. Excel classes are being scheduled. Uh, essential communication class. Alicia's got three sections of that, one in November and two more in January. Uh, the funds have to be allocated by the end of December. So we're okay. really watching those enrollments as they come in to keep track of how much money is allocated in tuition. And then as soon as we hit that $90,000 mark, we'll have to shut everything down. We'll have to freeze all the enrollments at that point. Right. So, so now's the time to take advantage of it. And you're right, boy, yep. huge tip yep, of the hat to your, your faculty for uh, with already busy class loads and everything to step up. That's phenomenal. Yep. Yep. And so a lot of things will happen kind of over that Christmas break, kind of later in December and then first week, couple weeks in January. The training has to be completed by February 28th. Okay. So we have kind of looked out a ways, um, but because of the full-time faculty teaching the classes, there are several that are in the evenings. Um, first time out is an introduction to um, GIS, a GIS, Geographic Information Systems Exploration Application. That starts already Monday, but that'll be a phenomenal class. We've got a couple enrolled in that already, but there's always room for a few more. Wow. So Now, can the students get any other certifications along the way? Uh, yes, we've got that working at heights certification that they can do that's really important, or the Global Wind Organization um, certification for any of the wind technicians that um, work on those towers. That's a 40-hour forty week, 40 hour for the week training, um, give us give us a call on that. We've already certified four individuals in that um, so far. So, like I said, we're ready to roll yeah. on some of those things. Yeah, you Digital are. Meter, got some electrical electrical certifications as well. Wow. Well, and you sent me a, a whole list of, uh, of of all the classes. We've mentioned some of them, and uh, um, boy, you guys really got your your finger on the pulse of what's being needed here during this uh, uh, COVID crisis and helping employers, certainly helping uh, those that are uh, looking for work, looking to better themselves. And I always say this, I think every time I talk to somebody from Iowa Lakes Community College, the real important part that I always see is such a high percentage of those graduates from Iowa Lakes Community College, they stay in our towns, they stay in our communities, they, they build their homes there, they have their jobs there, they raise their children there. And that's just an underlying benefit of everything that goes on through Iowa Lakes Community College. I think that's how we can how we can grow our population bases to retain those students that come from all over. Yep. Get them into the community so they find out how wonderful we are because we know we're wonderful. And then they put down some roots and, and really grow and flourish here. That's right. And what what little town in Iowa doesn't need some young families moving in, Jolene? Absolutely. <laughs> well, now, for all this information, what's the best way for people to find out more about it? Uh, the website is yeah. really um, the driving force. So it's iowalakes.edu, and then go to the continuing ed page, and yeah. then just search by kind of categories if you're looking for um, industrial training or 
communication training, things like that on the description. It'll say employer innovation grant and it's a free, it's free. So you can feel really confident about signing up for those classes. If they have any trouble, uh, Tori Nemethy is our, um, one of our programmers that helps with registration. Her phone number is 362-7946. Or send us an email at communityed at at iowalakeside.edu and we have three or four people that are, are monitoring that. We'll get right back to you to get you signed up. So wonderful news for whatever works for them. Yeah. Will help. I, well, and that's part of what you do. You make it work for uh, potential students, whether they're traditional, non-traditional students, making it work for our communities. All right, Jolene, thank you so much for taking time with me today. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate the opportunity. It's my pleasure indeed. Jolene Rogers, Iowa Lakes Executive Director of Community and Business Relations right there at Iowa Lakes Community College. We thank her for joining us today. Take advantage of it. 100 students, 100 days at Iowa Lakes Community College. Thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee is brought to you in part by Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake. The Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, and house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Okaboji Mattress Company, one mile west of the junction of Highway 9 and 71 in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. And Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Ruthven Locker, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Back Engineering in Spirit Lake, B Radiant Laser Skin Studio, newly located in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. And by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisors Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz.